be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up on the video. Definitely helps out the content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. What we're going to be covering is how to make your uh, kick drum and 808 drum smack or hit hard in the mix in four simple, easy steps. OK, now the first step is actually going to be through leveling. All right. We did a detailed video of this. Um, in the previous video, but leveling is really going to help your 808 and beats, uh, 808 and kick drum to snap and, and smack in the mix. Okay, so rule of thumb here you want to turn your uh, kick drum at least up to nominal gain, and really that 808 should be about half of that. So, like, if you look at my meter here, I got this uh, kick drum right here, and then I got the 808. 808 is turned down a little bit about half, but you always want to judge it based on what you hear. So I'm going to let you hear this uh, 808. And if you look at the metering, it's a significant amount of, you know, headroom between this 808 and kick drum. So you never want to have your 808 turned up as loud as your kick drum. Um, it's basically just going to muddy out the mix and make things where you can't hear it. So that's the first tip. Second tip is to add something called R bass or Renaissance bass to your 808. This is what Renaissance bass looks like. Um, basically, you can boost certain frequencies. Um, you know, I have a 65 boosted right here. I'm going to turn this on and let you hear it now with R bass. Made it quite a bit, a little bit of a difference there. Another thing you can do is come over here as, as far as a third thing and, and use a um, some type of a distortion, okay? And I'm just gonna use this, um, it's like a guitar, guitar amp here. We can use some of the presets if we want. Just find some that basically sound good, you know? Um, let's just check this one out. All right, cool. So basically I found a distortion that I liked. It sounded pretty clean. Again, I don't want it to be overly distorted, but just something to boost out and make that uh, 808 sound a little bit more colorized, you know what I mean? So we added that in there. That's our third tip. And then our last tip is gonna be used, uh, is, is to use smack attack on your kick drum, okay? Um, you could use that actually on your 808s as well, but this is smack attack. Basically you can come in here and use some of the presets. All right, they got a bunch of different presets you can use. So, for instance, they have this uh, kick to the sun um, preset right here. So, let's just listen to how that sounds. And then you can also put that smack attack on an 808. All right, so that's basically the four different things you could do. Um, and I'm gonna go over those four different things again. Basically, you can first off get the proper levels. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is you can add R base to the actual 808. Third thing is to add some type of a distortion to the 808. And then a fourth thing is to put smack attack plugin, put the smack attack plugin either on your kick drum and your uh, 808 or just bare minimum the kick drum. 
So those four different things right there are going to make your your kick drum and 808 smack in the mix. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, make sure you go to my website. We got um, several different kits that you can get, melody kits, drum kits that you can get, um, and also different courses. So beatmakingbasics.com. Make sure you grab that, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.